Well, good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. This is Minister Gloria Drummond, Back to the Altar Ministries. And the today is uh, April the 27th. I think it's the 27th. I forgot to look on the calendar first. The time is about uh, eight minutes after 7 p.m. And... I was going to go on yesterday. I was going to go on last night, but I had to take another Tylenol from my foot. And I was kind of loopy, so I didn't come on. But I have a little bit of a testimony. A little bit of a testimony. But God, uh, the other night, before I went to bed, you know, I always pray when I get in bed. And um, I prayed for the Lord to send to send me a word you know to, to to send me something to give me something or send me something or something well he did god does answer prayers he does answer prayers yes i did that last video yes i did that last video because i was down when i said i wasn't doing too good health wise i'm in pretty good shape other than my back but yeah, all right. Now I'm not doing any of this to uh, exalt myself. Uh, I'm doing this to show what God can do through other people. Through other people, He sends He sends His word. He sends His word. Okay. Let's do the Our Father first. Always the Our Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, amen. Okay. Um. Sometimes I go on Twitter or, you know, I'll go on Instagram. And anyway, um, I hadn't checked for any messages, but I did. I did yesterday. I checked for messages. Well, there was one. There was one. And... It's just truly amazing. It's truly amazing. When people really love one another and they really pray for pray for people. They really pray for people. It's really something. All right, I'm going to I copied I hope that this dear dear person, the dear woman doesn't I hope she doesn't mind for me reading this. But I wanted to copy it down. I was going to answer you back on there, but I thought, no, I'll do something better. I'll write it down, and then I'll share it with the family on Back to the Altar Ministries. Okay? So, anyway, and I only have, I have 26 subscribers. I'd like to get a few more. I would love to get a few more subscribers on here. So, all right, I'm going to read this. I'm going to read it. Okay, she says, here is a message of encouragement from the word of God. God sent his word. Okay, 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 through 19. And this is from the, the, KJ, the, the new KJV, and I'm going to read it out of, the other, out of the KJV as well. Okay. Are you ready? This this is what the Lord does. This is what our Lord and Savior does. Okay. 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 through 19. Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial. In your case, you have continued to have to endure with for so long, dear Gloria, which is and has been designed and formed to try and test you 
to try you as though some strange thing happened to you, but rejoice to the extent that you, Gloria Darlene Harlow, partake of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. On their part, he is, he, he is blasphemy, but on your part, he is glorified. But let no, but let none of you, but let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, and evildoers, or as a busybody in other people's matters. Yet, if any one suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. For the time is come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it, if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey? Wait a minute, I just read that. Do not obey the gospel of God. Now, if the righteous one scarcely saved, if the righteous one is scarcely saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? Will the ungodly and the sinner, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? Therefore, let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to him in doing good as to a faithful creator. Now I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again. Here is a message of encouragement from the word of God. 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 through 19. Beloved, do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial. In your case, you have continued to have to endure with for so long, dear Gloria, which is and has been designed and formed to try and test you, to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice to the extent that you, Gloria Darling Harlow, partake of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. On their part, he is blasphemy, but on your part, he is glorified. But let no none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, and evildoers, or as a busybody in other people's matters. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Now, if the righteous one is scarcely saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? Therefore, let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to him in doing good as to a faithful creator. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what God does. This is what God does. I prayed for the Lord to send me a word or, or send, give me a dream or something the other night. And then yesterday, this, this was on a message to me from a very, very dear and close friend. A very, very close friend. See, that's what we do. We pray for one another. We, we, we encourage one another. We don't keep putting people down. That's what we do. And when it comes to toxic people, if they become toxic in your life, you have to back away from them. When they devise your hurt, when they devise your hurt. All right, so I'm going to, now I'm going to read those scriptures out of, out of my KJV. 
I'm going to read them out of the KJV. And I wanted to thank this very, very dear sister that I love dearly. I wanted to thank you, and I wanted to, again, I wanted to thank God and give God all the honor and the glory and the praise for what he did. All right. Now that's First Peter. Pages one still on a stick. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh first Peter chapter four. First Peter chapter four. Verses twelve through nineteen. Okay, verses 12 through 19. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are you. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you, and their part, he is evil. Hang on. He is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. 15. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at, a, at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Verse 19. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as, as unto a faithful creator. As a faithful creator. All right, verse, chapter 5 of 1 Peter chapter 4. I'm going to read chapter 5. It's just a short one. Chapter 5. The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for a filthy liqueur, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. For, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, and under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. 
Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking to whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the grace of, but God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. By Silvanus, a faithful brother unto you, as I suppose, I have written briefly exhorting and testifying that this is the true grace of God wherein ye stand. The church that is at Babylon, elected together with you, saluteth you, and so doth Marcus, my son. Greet ye one another with a kiss of charity. Peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Chapter, verse 5. Likewise, be ye younger. Submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. And that's Isaiah 57, 15. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you, Psalms 37, 5. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking to whom he may devour. And that's Job 1, 7 and Luke 21, 34. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in, in your brethren that are in the world. And that's Acts chapter 14, verse 22, and 1 Thessalonians 3, 3. But the, grace, but the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Okay, I wanted to read I wanted to read that. But that is a testimony. That is a testimony. Now that was the new K the New King James Version that was read out of. And this is almost identical to what that says. And yes, I do know that that the rest of it, I do know that the King James has a lot of left. A lot of things added to and taken away. Yes, I know. But I wanted to read that. I wanted to, to read that as a testimony because I asked God that night when I was doing my prayers. I said, Lord, please either give me a dream or, or send a word. Please send me a word. Please send me a word, Lord. And that's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he did. I think it's strange that things come against us, people come against us. Because they will. They will. We are the children of God. We are the sons and daughter, daughters of God. And he puts a special anointing on his children. He puts a special anointing. And some people just can't, they can't stand it. So what are they going to do? They're going to do everything they can to knock you down. Try to take you out. That's true. That's true. You know, so anyway. But I wanted to get on here and again and read this. And I want to thank that very, very dear sister that I love dearly. And she knows who she is. And another sister that I love dearly too. And she knows who she is. People that really pray for people. People that really pray. They don't just say, that, say they're going to pray. They actually pray just like I do. But like I do. So anyway... I opened with the Our Father. I'm going to close with the Our Father. Again, this is the 27th of April of 2023. This is Back to the Altar Ministries. Minister Gloria, 
I love you all with the love of Christ Jesus. And I'll be back on after a while with the prophecy. With the prophecy, okay? But I wanted to do this first. I wanted to do this first. To exalt my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. And to lift him up. And I give him all the I give you all the honor and the glory and the praise, dear Lord. Because you are faithful. He is faithful. He is so very faithful. So our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And just remember something else too, people. He calls the unqualified. He calls the weak-minded. He calls the unqualified. I mean, I told him all them years ago when I said, but... Lord, I can't preach. I don't know. I don't know anything about being a preacher. He said, "You will." I heard it. I heard it deep within me. You will. I said, "Okay." I said, "You're going to have to teach me. You're going to have to show me." And that was what nine years ago, almost nine years ago. That's right. We don't have to speak with eloquent words. My my daddy didn't. He didn't have any eloquent words. That's right. Think about it, you guys. Think about it. So anyway, kisses and holy hugs to each and every one of you that will see this video. And again, please thumb the video the videos up. Please thumb the videos up. Okay? Be blessed and not stressed. And remember, Jesus is the only way, the truth and the light. He's the only way. He is the answer. Jesus is the answer. Okay, so until my next broadcast, I love you all. I love you all. Stay faithful. Stay faithful to God. Stay faithful. Alrighty, to my next video.